Welcome to The Late Show. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Stephen Colbert, your host of The Late Show for tonight. And um, have you guys been watching the sit-in in the House of Representatives? Have you guys seen that so far? Yeah. Pretty dramatic. Yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's so rare that Congress does anything interesting. <laughs> Isn't that doesn't feel like this? Wait, 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 what's going on? Because I can't remember anything in my adult life happening that I said, oh, that's different than exactly what I would expect of Congress. <laughs> Is that a shred of courage I see? <laughs> so, I want to take a moment. <laughs> Hi, anyone. I see something. Something in there. I want to take a moment to say something I never thought I would say. Thank you, Congress, for sitting on your asses. <laughs> After the protest began, Paul Ryan declared a recess and cut off C-SPAN's live feed. Now, personally, uh, I do not want to live in a world where Paul Ryan decides what's on TV. <laughs> I'm guessing it would just be mostly P90X infomercials and Top Gun. <laughs> 24 hours a day. He would look good. He'd look good. The danger zone! But... Oh, I can see him as kind of a Tom Cruise, yeah. But the whole thing backfired on the Republicans when the Democrats used Periscope, which gave the sit-in a kind of a lo-fi guerrilla style that felt like something was happening. It's pretty grainy. If you saw the footage yeah, last yeah. night, it's pretty grainy. But to be fair, most congressmen are so old that they were shooting the footage on rotary phones. <laughs> 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 but again, it felt exciting. Here's an example. I kid you not, when he heard about this last night, my teenage son said, Let's go watch C SPAN. Oh. <laughs> I hope he's not on drugs. <laughs> and he wasn't alone because last night C SPAN saw an 800% increase in its ratings. 800. <laughs> That means like 800 people were watching. <laughs> Things got really crazy last night when Paul Ryan came back to the House to attempt to regain control of the chamber. House to be in order. The chair wishes to make an announcement regarding the decorum in the House chamber. And once again, John Boehner goes to bed secure in the knowledge that he made the right decision. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Good luck. Good luck, suckers. <laughs> and some of the Republicans got really mad at the Democrats for doing this. In fact, on Twitter, North Carolina Congressman Mark Walker attacked the leader of the sit-in, John Lewis, tweeting, calling this a sit-in is a disgrace to Woolworths. <laughs> now, keep in mind, keep in mind, Congressman John Lewis led Woolworth lunch counter sit-ins during the Civil Rights Movement in the 1960s. Yeah, it is. And yeah, this yeah. guy is lecturing him on what or is or is not a sit-in. I am not surprised that Mark Walker did not join the sit-in, because with balls that big, sitting must be painful anywhere you go. 